All right, so welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We are on the run from uh, very scary people who are trying to kill us right now. Remember last time that our house and village was uh, ransacked by the enemies. So we are running so we don't uh, die. Yeah. I don't know if I can sneak up on these guys. Nope. That'll be a no. Wow. Alright, let's steal a horse. Alright, let's jump, 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 jump. Ooh. Ow, they hit me in the butt. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. Uh, let me on the horse. Yeah. Alrighty. Oof. Alrighty. Yeah. So that was uh, a little scary. So we almost got freaking axed right there, man. Yeah, yeah. My leg! Rude! Alright, let's go, Henry! Alright, when I first played this scene, I had a lot of issues with it because I didn't realize you had the double tap shift to freaking like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So I was just like holding shift and I'm like. Da -da 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 -da. You know, I was freaking like trotting, man. So, uh, remember to double tap that shift button. Or at least that's what it should be. When you see the little green bar going, that's your horse's uh, stamina. Oh. Yeah. Yep. So you double tap that shift. That allows you to sprint with your horse. Compared to. Oh yay! Oh no! Get out of the freaking! Oh god! Oh no! Alright, let's go, let's go. Yoink. Alrighty, so we're gonna cut across this field. Left. Talmor gets to the left along the stream. Yes, I get that. Okay. So our horses. Oh my goodness. I would say our horse is almost out of freaking stamina. But clearly their horse is better than mine, and I'm dying, and I'm bleeding, and my horse is running out of energy. Though I don't know if it's giving me infinite energy right now. That'd be nice. And I'm hungry, my hand hurts. <laughs> yep. This ain't great. Come on. Let's go. Go! They'll kill you all! Yeah, just kill that guy. Leave me alone. Oh my god. Run for it! Uh, let the horse recover a little. Yeah. And we're gonna get out of here. Flee! Oh my god, get out of the way, man. Yeah. Uh oh. Wow. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Run, run for it. We're seeing red, we're seeing red. I know, I know, I know you're freaking out, horse. Yeah. Alright. Let's try that again. Oh, 
Okay. So don't get stuck in the river this time. Maybe that's how they got up to you. I don't know. This will be our new start. See, I like this game's realistic, but sometimes it's annoyingly realistic. Are we on the horse? Alright, we skip that cutscene. Alright, so if you see right here, this is your little loading thing. So it'll load from this area and go around here. Or not. Alright, so we're going, we're going. Alright, we're not gonna go some stupid way this time. We're gonna stick to the road. Bridge. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. I don't know what's happening back there. Left. Talmor gets to the left along the stream. That's nice. Nice, right, so we're going left. Alright, we let the horse horse rest. And we get out of here. Because clearly. Whoa! Right on my patoots. Right on my patoots, they is. What's up, man? Can I not escape you? This horse isn't the greatest, you know. If you guys could give me some, like, room, that'd be nice. Whoa. Ah. Get out of the way. Oh my goodness. Right, my horse is freaking dying. Uh, I heard something about France. I don't know. Get out of the way. Yeah, you're not gonna make it. Bye. Alright. This is my horse. My horse is amazing. Give it a lick. It's just like raisins. Oh my goodness. Give it a rest. Uh. All right, please just continue to shoot at me and don't swing at me. That'd be great. Uh, we're almost there. There is Tom Burke, I think. Hopefully. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, it's like, does my horse have an arrow in his head? Would that be the arrow in my leg? Jesus Christ, indeed. Scalots has been attacked! No one's gonna hear you. That's pretty far, man. Welcome to Talmberg. They say they close the gate, but I'm pretty sure they actually don't. Oh my god, they did. Wow. This is our second home, okay? Let's make it a good time. Hello, I'm Henry, and I die. <laughs> I got a doohickey in my leg. Someone give him a drink. I bring hot wine and bandages. Oh. Yeah. Down it. Like a man. Tell me, boy. Who are you? And where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? 
Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Cummins. Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Yoink. Hey. Your teeth, boy. Get it. I'm gonna pull oh. that down. Oh. Ah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Probably faint too if I was shot, and you know you had to pull an arrow from my leg. Crikey. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. Well, your flesh. You only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? Maybe. Not particularly. Here you go. Good as new. What a douche. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Dibbish. Can you manage? Alright, have fun. Oh. I was say, is he not going to help me? Huh. There we go. Puppy dog. Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard Rovar. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the ensigns of the attackers? Were there any more survivors? So, uh, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Skalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a strange language. They burned Skalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. As I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Mm. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't fight. Nope. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help. Even if we could risk sending them. Which you can. Next in line. Maybe. What's your name, boy? Henry. I'm Henry. Son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? He did not. I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Makes sense. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Everybody's got this little V on there. On a thing. On a thingy thing. What is happening to my screen? Hey. Move. Well, that didn't help. Come on. There we go. They did not know what was happening there. Uh, Alright. So. Uh, we got away from the people on the horse. We're in the town of Talmberg. Uh, and let's see if anybody else made it. I mean, we're the only, everybody else inside the castle, right? Whoa! Hello. How are you? Um, I don't want to talk to you. Hello? Yes? You're just a villager. Who are you? Hello. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. Mm hmm You must be all done in. Is that my Why hat? Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a 
pulls up. True story. Oh, must eat. Oh, okay. Went from instant full belly to left. All right, all right, so Robert, give me that full English breakfast, even though we're not in the English. Who wants the meats, the beans, uh, the black pudding, uh, the bacons, the hams? Ah, oh, my lady. You're fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Tomberg has graced us with her presence. Lady Almodot. So this is our brave young man? Yeah. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're Bojana? tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he I... must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you? Be Whoa! What happened to my screen? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, Go and rest with the goons here to bury. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. What's up with your hairstyle? You wearing like a helmet for hair? You're incapable hair. You got weird hair. I'll leave you to it. Good night. Also, you're old. Good night, man. But mostly you got weird hair. Who would wear hair like that? What's wrong with you? Go find somebody done, to go fix that. You can sleep in the bed chamber of the courtyard lodge. Uh huh. Uh huh. Don't to take off those filthy boots before No, out of boots go on the bed. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna fix that. Uh, don't you star. Oh well, I wouldn't mind a bite to eat actually. All right, uh, eat from the pot. Yum, 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 yum. All right, so let's see what we got. We got a bunch of stolen items. Uh, we got some arrows that I imagine were shot in us. Oh, we have one arrow that was shot in us. That's great. Uh, we have a torch. We got this sword. Can I mark things to be sold? No, I guess not. Um, uh, okay. Let's see, can I fix any shoes? I cannot. All right. I ate the food. Alright, so I got, I got that, literally I ate from the pot, it only did half. So I'm just going to take all of your food. Alright, let's see what we got. We got food, we got bed rolls. Eat, 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 eat the carrots. Lentils. Duck. And now we're back. Overeating. Oh, now we're tired. We's a piggy, and we's tired. Mm. I do believe our room is up here somewhere. Let's go find it. Hello. Is my room here? Hello. Hello. Oh, yes. I think this is my room. Or maybe not. Maybe that's the ladies' room. Is this my room? You the king? Hello, sir? Sir? Is this my room? I'm claiming it. That's weird looking. Okay. We're gonna sit. This bed is probably taken. I'm supposed to go and sleep in the chamber. Ah. Uh. 
Um, well, where's the chamber? I mean, I guess I could follow the map, huh? Uh, M is how you bring up your map. So, no, that's not quite you... useful. Hush, hush. Alright, alright. Let's go down. Reputation loss. Somehow. Because I'm a pig? I don't know. Chamber. Alright, over here. There we go. I sit down. And let's go to sleep. Ta-da! Didn't even take off our boots. Um. We'll wait till the morning. All right, I'll be right back. That will fix that issue. Yes, sir. Do I get a bow? Give me a bow. Car. Yes. It is I, Henry. Ah. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? No, it's too weird here. My lady. Um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Ah, thank you. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. Nah. I was going to. Tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. I think she's and hitting on me. Been for you. Henry, I you're in. You solace, Go for it. To let you know you're not alone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You. You're welcome. Now, Henry. <gasps> she touched my hand. I know this is all very new and strange for Game you. on, man. Game on. But I want you to feel at home here. Get that old lady. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. Oh, yeah, it's quite. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. You don't want to help me study God? And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. What a nice lady. Tell the story. You might be right. Now. I'll tell you what happened. Why is this the one? It's terrible. It was unexpected. Am I supposed to be here? The day started just like any other. What is happening? Father sent me into town on some errands. Uh, a fellow by the name of Kunesh owed money to What the heck? Why am I connected. over there? Only Kunesh had no intention. What is happening? It got a bit heated as often happens when there's money involved. Kunesh still wouldn't cough up the coin. The father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Aye. Oh. Oh my. When I'd done all the errands. What, what am I sitting on? I promised father. What is going on? You see this? What is this? A sword for Sir Radzi. What is this? Uh... The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. I think I'm supposed to be on the bed. I understand I'm killing the story right now. Are we re this was an episode one. You don't say. You don't say. already on the horizon. Ready to attack the town. Uh, we're just using this one because it has a biggest. What did you do? 
The armor glinted in the sunlight and the horses grinned impatiently. Mm -hmm. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. And he did. Awful. Yeah, awful. And then death descended on Scalic. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to be right here. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. Clearly, we're getting to know each other because I'm like super close to her. Mm. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. Cha, cha. I never saw him fight like that. Never. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, knights in full armor. If you didn't know, this game is a little buggy. Last time I went through this scene, uh, she was doing, you know that wall sit thing where you do like, like, you know, you bend your knees. And you, like you have your back against the I wall, the castle, like our neighbors, to take cover. and so she was like doing that off of her chair. She was like, the stool's like right here, and she was like, Hur. and you're like, what? I was lucky on you. I so the clearly this time, uh, the shoe's on the other foot. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmud and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others. Like, like a good Christian. And I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the no wench. Why would you call her a wench? That's rude. I had human savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save them. I wanted there to be at least one person I helped. Yep. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from him and rode off. Yeah. Like a valiant knight. He's so brave. Your life could be pretty short, so the rest of your life could be like, you know, tomorrow. What is happening? It's Hello. How could something like that happen? Hello. God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, um. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those oh. who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed. Envy and pride. You must not lose faith. Mm -hmm. Whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Also, in comparison to the horrors. Well, you're much been. younger than your husband if that old guy was your husband. I was young when I married my husband. Oh, okay. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but. A woman must bear her lot. Mm. Shortly after our marriage, she before like I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Oh, really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. Wow. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribyslavets, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. That sucks, lady. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king, mm -hmm. and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Yeah, sounds about right. Years, you say? Seven years. Oh. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. Uh... And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay uh -huh. a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Nice. Seven years. And um, was Harvel punished for it? Nah. Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Oh, my. So Divish seems like a good, strong man. Certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle. Mm -hmm. He was very busy. He had no time for me at all. Oh, no. But at least we were in the city. Yeah. There was something going on. 
now we're here. Ruth, why did you? You're still young. Young? Beautiful. Rude. The best years are still ahead of you. She's like 50. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. Yeah, get out of here. Are you trying to sleep? I'll go and let you sleep. Don't talk to me. Don't you ever come back. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night. God bless. Stop being a hoe. Get out of here. Henry, she's married. You're a bad man. Bad. Bad boy. Also, how did you magically appear back on the bed? Also, the headboard is the other way, dude. You gotta turn around. Because you're supposed to face doors in case there's danger. You stupid. What a dummy dumb. He's a, what is it? What, oh, I'm like what is happening? All right, so we're having flashbacks. Oh, Papa, no! He didn't take off his boots in the bed. That was the one thing he was told about. Oh, what's happening? I. You're already dead. What the heck? How weird. Uh -huh. Henry, wake up. What's up? You don't want to miss this. Oh What's yeah, that? boy. What's happening here? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols will come to the scouts. Let's go. My clothes are a wreck. 